Morning everybody. Um, we thought we'd um, spoil you and more importantly spoil ourselves as this is the second video we've done this month. Um, yeah, so um, what we want to try and do with all the, the openings, the closures, or that, what, what is, whatever's happening during winter, um, try and keep you updated as much as possible. Hence us having, try and do two video shoot for, for the winter months for our win, winter trail build and maintenance program. So yeah, yeah, here we are basically once again in one of our favorite spots in the whole wide world, the top of the Blumendaler. Um, what's a magnificent day. And it's great, great, great to be out here. All right, so um, before I start, I just want to show you something which is quite, um, which amuses me. And I'm, I'm fascinated about this whole thing. This little piece of architectural masterpiece here on the stormwater drain. We, we don't know who built it. It wasn't us. It wasn't, um, it wasn't Telcom, the people that own the road. It must have been some club members, cyclists, whatnot, that came all the way up here and built this beautiful little bridge across here with a drainage hole in it. I mean, it's so well built. It's even got stipple, stipples all over it to make it uh, not non, non smooth. Um, the only reason I can think whoever built this was to cycle down the stairs across here, which is against what we originally, why we left it like this, was, was for, for you to get off your bike there and push be, because we worried about cars coming up and down here. But any of this, it's been, nevertheless, it's been done. But the only problem now, of course, is that it's collecting all this, all this muck here, which is stopping the water from running. So, yeah, nice job, but I'm fascinated about it. All right, that's just a little piece of trivia. Um, okay, so let's move on. Okay, this is, we're trying a new, a new story here as well. <laughs> this is our first moving motion video. So if it doesn't look good, that's fine, but I'm sure Warren will sort it out here. Yeah. It's, it's not a problem. Okay, um, as I said, we're at the top of the Blumendaler. I'll just give a quick update as to where we are. Um, and this, ob obviously, we, we're here for a reason. The, B the Blumendaler is complete with its rehab. Uh, Bennett Nell of Ace of Space has done an absolute fantastic job of it. Uh, we'll take you down at Nara, Warren, Melissa, and myself. But basically, it's, it's built up. He's built it up um, beautifully. Uh, all the old obstacles just made a little bit bigger. The jumps are made a little bit bigger. The corners have been smoothed out. The... The highway, full of highway, full of brake bumps, uh, you figure that one out, has been smoothed out and whatnot, so it's really, really riding beautiful. So all I ask is it's open for this weekend. Um, it's, let's, look, let's look after it. Okay, this little, the couple of weeks we spent here cost you, the member, about 70,000 Rand. Okay, so it's not cheap to rebuild, rehab these things. All right, so just bear that in mind. When you come down here, zooming down here, chasing the com or a PR, on your unrestricted e-bike. We'll talk about that a little bit later as well. Uh, yeah, just, just think about the trail and let's keep it, let's ride it nicely, man, so, so everyone can enjoy it and it lasts as long as possible. But by all means, come down here. It's, it's, it's running absolutely beautifully, as, as you will see. All right. Um, the other trails we've opened recently that have finished the, the rehab works is the, the B-Spot, which Eugene Haley has done an absolute fantastic job on. Uh, go and try it out. It's a whole. It's got a whole new shape, feel to it. We sort out the drainage, so that's that's riding beautifully. And yeah, that's I think is what we've we've opened recently. Um, Ruben Storbeck is at um, Mirandal still. The pomegranate, the mine shaft, that's been redone. He's busy with the Barry Stunder, the Barry Stunder berms, Esther Sus berms. Bennett Nell is out at Velfa Genoeg doing the descents. My crew are at the back here. Yeah? Building the beautiful the zigzag climb up to the up to the Talca Moss. Uh, you must see what they're doing. We'll we'll show you a little bit later. But they're doing a fantastic job. So yeah, it's, uh, we we really really are. Um, it's we're on the go and it's very highly highly enjoyable at at the moment. So don't forget if you want to check trail openings, trail closures, you always can go onto our website and you can see which trails are open and which trails are closed. We are working on getting a pop up right on the fr front page of the or the home page of the, of the website to inform you as to which trails are open or closed. Okay, but that's coming. That's work in progress. Yeah, so um, that's where we are trail-wise. I think just while we're up here, uh, I just want to talk about something which is a little bit of a worry from us at the club point of view. And that's the upper Blumendal here, where the Blumendal is uh, and all the trails on the upper Blumendal. Lately, it's become a bit of a smorgasbord for people to ride where they want to, how they want to, without thinking about where they are supposed to ride. Okay, so I just want to talk about it, run, run you through the do's and don'ts of Upper Blumendal so we can sort it out hopefully for once and for all. All right. 
First thing, when you come across a road from Lower Bloemendaal, across the Tiger Valley Road, that dicey crossing of the road, uh, some people think it's okay to go straight up that steep descent or ascent, whatever you call it, okay, especially our e-bike brigade. Um, guys, that is a no-no. The farm has specifically requested that you do not go up there. They give us permission to come down on the right-hand side. So come down on the right-hand side by all means, but do not go up there. There are other ways of getting up up to the top, if you're worried about the muddy section around the teeter side, you can come up the concrete road, um, which you can do. So you can come up the concrete road, remember, but you can't go down it. Please remember that as well. Okay. And then coming up the concrete road, you stop. You can only go as far as the gate uh, just off the 360 restaurant. That is it. Okay. So please stick to those trails. Don't ride all over the place. It's not Patrick. It's not the Tigerberg Mountain Bike Committee. It's telling you trying to be nasty or whatever um it's a it's a, it's a farm okay that the, those are the routes they want so it's not us it's a farm let's just obey what they want all right so that's the negative part of it over and done with something i just needed to get off my chest um i think oh not quite done with the negatives the a little bit of a sad story to tell you unfortunately um most of you remember well when we started building here bennett and myself in the forest was it 10 years ago, 2014, we came across these massive paw marks, cat paw marks, wherever we went. And I, I picked up the phone and I found the Cape Leopard Trust and I said, guys, we've got a leopard out here. Um, you need to come, come sort it out. It's only when they started laughing at me that I realized it's not a leopard. There ain't no leopards around here. Um, it was a rather large roy cut, caracal. And since then, I've seen him on numerous occasions. Big, 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 big. The biggest roy cut you, you'll ever come across. Fantastic, not scared of anyone, you stop and stare at you, lure at you, and you think, oh, yes, okay, let me turn around and carefully walk away from him. I called him Godzilla because he was, he was massive. Now, unfortunately, just around the corner here, a week or, week or so ago, we came across the body of Godzilla. Um, Godzilla ain't no more, he's passed on, unfortunately. So, very sad times. Um, he's been a real cool cat to have around. Hopefully, he's left some successors here in the forest somewhere to take over from him, but... Uh, yeah, we'll have a little toast to Godzilla and, and the life and the, the pleasure he gave us here. So, yeah, a little bit of a sad touch nature-wise. Although, coming up here early this morning, I, um, I was just telling Warren Melissa, on the, uh, on the side of the road was a massive Cape Eagle owl. Beautiful, and he was in his full splendor. He didn't fly away. He sat looking at me as well. So, there's lots of wildlife up here. And, of course, this Blumendaler is unique in the sense that it's... Um, that it's the only travel we've really got that's in the forests uh, and it's actually a beautiful, beautiful different type of ride. So going back to what I said earlier about those unrestricted motors on e-bikes, I'm watching you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, right. That's where we are. Um, it's, it's fantastic out here again. We'll try and keep you updated as much as we can in terms of what we're doing for the next two months. But it's all coming together rather, rather nicely. Um, you'll see the trails that we've finished are rehabbing or actually running beautifully. So, yeah, get out there, enjoy. Just keep an eye on the trails closed at the moment for the weekend. The only trail closed we got is Bloom and Nice at the top of Lower Bloomendale. Other than that, plan your rides, get out here and have a blast. We'll catch up in two weeks' time.